Hey guys, this is Pipa. Welcome back to my channel. And today I have my little brother. Hey guys. And we're gonna do a skincare tutorial for teenage boys, especially you here. I think we have a very good example for today. And a lot of you guys were asking for a skincare tutorial for men, for boys. Uh, so here it is. So first I'm gonna ask him what he does to his skin or a little bit about his lifestyle And then I'm gonna suggest you some of the things which you can do to improve your skin right. and um, I know hormonal acne can be really frustrating and sometimes even if you take very good care of it It can like you can still have the hormonal acne But what you can do is you can prevent it from having more so first can you tell us a little bit about what you do? Uh, uh, I just wash my face with water, that's it. Um, that's all. Wash my face with water and go to school. So for night time, do you do anything? When I come back from school, I just use the face scrub to wash my face mm. and take a shower and that's it. And that's it. So what do you use to wipe your face dry? Yeah, I just wash it. Uh, I just wipe it with towel. And where's the towel? Where do you put the towel? I just hang it in the bathroom. And... That's it. Yeah. Okay. So let me tell you where I think is the problem. Is in the morning, um, you wash your face only with water, right? Yep. Yeah. But the thing is, if you wash your face only with water. If your skin is good, it doesn't break out, then it's fine. You can do whatever. But especially if you're someone whose skin breaks out, like what you have now, then I think it's better to use at least a gentle cleansing product to wash your face in the morning. Uh, and after you come from school, like that's okay. You use the scrub, that's fine. But when you wipe your face, you make sure that you use a clean towel that you don't hang in the bathroom. Or um, if you don't want to wash, then what you can use, you can use a, a facial tissue paper, something like that, to wipe your face. Because that's a lot more cleaner. Because uh, you know, when you hang your towel in the bathroom, and there's going to be a lot of bacteria stuck in it. Imagine what happens when you wipe your face with that towel again the next day. All the bacteria are going to get into your skin. Uh, and make sure that you wash your towel every single day. Like if you use it in the morning, then you wash the towel after you wipe your face. And then you hang it outside to dry. And and at night time, I think it's gonna be dry. So you can use that to dry your face. And then you wash it again. And yeah. you do the same thing in the morning, right? If you have to use a towel, then don't put it in the uh, washroom. But if you don't want to uh, keep on washing your towel, then you can just use a facial tissue paper like this to wipe your face because that's more safer and cleaner. You know, it's all about being a little bit more hygienic as well um, when it comes to your skincare. So in the morning, what I suggest you to use is I suggest you to use the Cetaphil cleanser. Apply it all over your face in circular motion. Like this? Yeah, both hands. Yeah. Forehead? Yeah. Nose? Mm. Okay, and you can just go and rinse your face. Let's see. So I just rinsed my face now, so I'm gonna use the facial tissue to dry my face. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So in the morning, that's what you can do and you can put on your moisturizer which can be the aloe vera gel mask because uh, you already have that, right? Yep. And uh, at night or after you come from school what you can do is like, like do the same thing but don't wipe your face yet you can use the uh, scrub that you have and wash your face with that hmm. and that's gonna deep cleanse your skin and your skin is gonna be more uh, cleaner You can mix a little bit of water that's on the bowl. Yeah. A little bit of water on my face? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can add more water. Yeah, it's dry. Because mm. you just dry, you wipe your face dry. Yeah. But usually you don't have to wipe your face dry. Mm. More water? Yeah, more water. More, more water. Bubbly on your hand first. 
Okay, I'm doing. And always go in circular motion. Mm. Yeah, go on your forehead as well, because um, you always have your hair down, right? Yeah. So it's kind of covering your forehead, and because of the oil from the hair, it's going to go on your skin. If you're at home, then also try to put your hair up like what you have now, mm. so that your skin can breathe underneath. Right. It's best that if you don't have any hair on your forehead, but I know you want to have bangs <laughs> on your so face, I, so that's alright. Hold on, I'll just make a ponytail or something like that. Yeah, you can make a ponytail mm -hmm. if your hair is long enough. It's okay, I can just clip it yeah. if I don't have a ponytail. And don't just leave it there like a mask, you, you just like try to go in circular motion faster mm -hmm. and now you can go and rinse it. And try to clean your face uh, under one minute after you put the product on your skin because if you put it on for too long then it, your skin is going to absorb it a little bit because it's not a mask and it's not something that you let your skin absorb so go and wash your face now stop playing with it <laughs> so you just rinsed your face right yes i'm gonna i think it looks a lot more fresher Okay, you can wipe your face. Alright. And exfoliating your skin will also make your skin a lot more softer because it's gonna get rid of all the dead skin cells. If you never exfoliate your skin, then your skin's gonna have a lot of dead skin cells covering it, you know, on top of your skin. So if you get rid of that, then it's also gonna prevent you from getting more pimples and then it's going to clear up the pimples that you already have. Hmm. I see. Because your skin is more cleaner. That means less chances for bacteria to develop, right? Yeah. So now your skin is a lot more cleaner and fresher and now it's a very good time for you to moisturize your skin, right? Moisturize. And what are you gonna use? I, I think you that. have that at home, right? Yes, I do. So for that, you can just take a little bit of it and then use it. And at this point, you always want to make sure that your hands are clean. So that's good that you just wash the hand. Yeah, just take a little bit and then apply it all over your face. Should I rub my hand? Yeah. I should do this every time I go to school. Yeah, you should. Done? Yeah. Done. All right, so now you are done with your new skincare routine. Yes. And also one more thing is that you have your hair like your bang coming out, right? Yep. And you usually have a lot of pimples. I think you have more pimples on your forehead. And the main reason why you have a lot of pimples on your forehead is because you have your hair covering it, right? And throughout the day, you're gonna sweat a lot and your hair is on your face. Then your sweat and the oil from the hair will go to the skin. And that's gonna again create what? Bacteria. Yeah, that's what it is. So it's all bacteria that's causing the pimples. Not just hormonal, but all the bacteria will cause those pimples. So today you just applied the aloe vera gel as a moisturizer. Yep. And what do you feel now? Do you feel it's shiny, like you said? No, not really. I feel yeah, you can't really see feel anything. Feels smooth. Yeah. Feels smooth? That's good. And at night time or after you come from school, you can use uh, the gentle cleanser. And you can also use this scrub, which is a gentle scrub. And after that, you can again what? Wipe your face yep. with towel. No, no towel. Tissue paper. Tissue paper. Okay. Yeah, I think tissue school. paper will be more better for you because you won't really feel like washing your towel. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So better not use a towel. Uh, at night also, you use this to apply it as a moisturizer. But if you're not going to bed early. You're going to do some like school works, mm. or if you're going to play computer games for a while or watch movie, whatever, you can take more amount of this and then put it all over your face, a mm. thick layer, and let it absorb. Um, and you can leave it as long as you want, even one hour, it's fine, because this is good for your skin. And after you put it on for a while, you can just rinse it with water and pat dry with tissue paper, and then you can put it on as a moisturizer again, like a tiny amount. Yeah, and then you let it dry for a while, your skin will zoop, absorb it, and that's it. Yeah, and put my hair down. Alright, yeah. is that a deal? Yeah, it's a deal. So you can try this skincare routine for like a few weeks, and I'm sure that you're gonna see a lot of difference in your skin, 
And will you promise me that you won't be lazy and will follow this step? Yeah. Yeah? Mm. Is that a pinky promise? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, do whatever you want. You don't have to promise me for your yes. skin. <laughs> it's my skin. Yeah, like if you want good skin, then you can follow. If you don't want, then do whatever. That's <laughs> good. Alright guys, that's about it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it and I hope that it was helpful for some of you out there and I hope that it was helpful definitely for you too. Yes, it was very helpful. I think this is such a fun project that we did together. Thank mm. you so much for being here in my channel. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you like this video and thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon in my next video. Thanks guys. Bye! Bye. You don't have to do that. Bye bye. <laughs>